For today's video, I'll be taking you guys for everything I'll be eating in the next 30 days for my cut. I'm currently on day nine right now. And for our first meal today, we'll be having some oats. Now the reason I choose oats in the morning is it's very easy to make. It's high in fiber, so it keeps you full. And it's moderately high in protein. It's about 14 grams of protein per 100 grams of this with about 375 calories. I also add some strawberries to the oats to give it a bit of sweetness because if you add too much sugar, the calories go up a lot as well. It spikes your sugar levels as well. So I just prefer to have some strawberries in that, but you can of course choose any fruit of your choice. Then after I add some warm water to it and put it in the microwave, I add some milk about 200 or 300 grams of milk also adds a bit more to the protein very simple meal to make here's the macros on the screen right now it looks delicious it's very tasty very quick to make before work in the morning but yeah that's it for meal one next up we have meal 1.5 so this is a snack i have about an hour after my oats in the morning this is about 20 grams of protein with about 208 calories now it's nice to snack on it's quite uh, quick and convenient if you're going to work if you're going to be out and about it's a uh, it's a very good um, choice to pick up. It keeps you full for quite a while as well. For our next meal, meal number two, which is also now my pre-workout meal, I am making four eggs on two wraps. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting these four eggs on this pan with some butter, not much butter, but contrary to popular belief, butter is actually quite good for you. It has some very good nutrients and is also quite high in protein, but in very healthy fats. So yes, I'll be using butter instead of olive oil. Olive oil is also really good for you, but I generally don't use it for making my eggs as it gives it a olivey taste to the eggs, but I will use olive oil for like toast and that. So I'm gonna make the four eggs on the pan over here quickly. And then I put it on the wraps, two eggs per wrap. And then I also add some cheese, also really high in protein. And I add some of these chicken fillets on top of the wrap as well for some added protein. Okay, so I'm gonna make that and then I'll be right back. So I just finished my workout, so I will now be having a post-workout protein shake. I will be having the chocolate brownie flavor from my protein. I'm not sponsored by them at all, but it tastes really good, their protein shakes. I usually have it with milk, but I don't have a lot of calories left in my calorie budget for the day, so I'll just be having it with water instead. Okay, so the protein shake is ready, and I just wanna give a quick disclaimer about protein shakes as well, because a lot of people think that you need protein shakes to get bigger and to put on size and mass when you're starting out in the gym. Now, this definitely isn't the case. If you are able to get a decent amount of protein in from protein-rich products such as eggs, chicken, and red meats, you do not need protein shakes. Protein shakes are much lower in calories for the amount of protein that you do get. So if you are in a cut, it does make more sense to get protein shakes because they are lower in calories and you do get protein shakes that are even lower in calories as well. It is merely a supplement to make things a bit more convenient for you. If you do not have as much time to prepare food, then I I would highly recommend a protein shake. Now I usually have a banana after my workout as well as the potassium in bananas helps a lot with muscle cramps and spasms. But I think I'll be having it with my yogurt later tonight. Next up for dinner, it's a very simple meal. It is chicken, broccoli, and some sweet potato fries. The sweet potato fries are very simple to prepare. You just add some olive oil to the top of them and slide it into the oven. For the broccoli, you just cut a corner in the top of the packet and then put it in the microwave for five minutes. And the chicken, I just add some generic spices to the top of them and then make it with olive oil on the pan. <music> Thank you. 
So my protein intake for the day is currently at about 190 grams and I'm aiming to consume about 220 grams. Now this yogurt contains about 10 grams of protein for every 100 grams. So I'm going to have about 300 grams of this yogurt right here. I'm also going to add this banana to it for a bit of extra flavor. And as mentioned before, the banana's potassium helps a lot for the muscle cramps and spasms. So here's an overall breakdown of the macros I consume today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing for more content like this.